quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics relating to the very, very small. In day-to-day -day life, we intuitively understand how the world works. Drop a glass and it will smash to the floor. Push a cart and it will roll along. Atoms, electrons, light waves, none of these things follow the normal rules. At the scale of the very small, many of the equations of classical mechanics, which describe how things move at everyday sizes and speeds, stop being useful. However, in quantum mechanics, objects instead exist in a haze of probability. They have a certain chance of being at point A, another chance at being at point B, and so on. The red glow of a heating element as you toast a slice of bread is a very familiar sight for most people. It's also the place where quantum physics got its start. Explaining why hot objects glow at that particular color of red is the problem that quantum physics was invented to solve. No matter what an object is made of, if it can survive being heated to a given temperature, the spectrum of light it emits is exactly the same as for any other substance. The solution to this problem was found by Max Planck, who introduced the quantum hypothesis, giving the eventual theory its name, that the light could only be emitted in discrete chunks of energy. Here's a list of essential elements of quantum physics. Number one, quantized properties. A central idea of quantum physics is that energy comes in indivisible packets called quanta. Quanta behave very differently to macroscopic matter. Number two, particles are waves and vice versa. Quantum physics tells us that every object in the universe has both particle-like and wave-like properties. They are undefined up to the very moment someone looks at them or performs an experiment. As weird as it sounds, the act of looking at them forces it to either be a particle or a wave. Number three, probability is all we ever know. When physicists use quantum mechanics to predict the results of an experiment, the only thing they can predict is the probability of detecting each of the possible outcomes. Number four, quantum correlations are non-local. One of the strangest and most important consequences of quantum mechanics is the idea of entanglement. When two quantum particles interact in the right way, their states will depend on one another, no matter how far apart they are. Weird. Number five, everything not forbidden is mandatory. A quantum particle moving from point A to point B will take absolutely every possible path from A to B at the same time. Yes, you can be in more than one place at the same time in the quantum realm. What is string theory? String theory is one of the most important and famous ideas in modern physics, but it is also one of the most confusing. At its heart is an idea that the fundamental particles we observe are not point-like dots, but rather tiny strings that are so small that our best instruments cannot tell that they are not points. Many physicists consider string theory as our best hope for combining quantum physics and gravity into a unified theory of everything. But for the math to work, there has to be more than four dimensions in our universe. This is because our usual space-time doesn't give the strings enough room to vibrate in all the ways they need in order to fully express themselves 
as all the varieties of particles in the world. They're just too constrained. What is loop quantum gravity? By contrast, loop quantum gravity is concerned less with the matter that inhabits space-time than with the quantum properties of space-time itself. In loop quantum gravity, or LQG, space-time is a network. The smooth background of Einstein's theory of gravity is replaced by nodes and links to which quantum properties are assigned. In this way, space is built up of discrete chunks. LQG is in large part the study of these chunks.